All right, let's take a look at solving two-step equations. So my goal in solving a two-step equation is to get x by itself on one side of the equal sign. And I'm going to do that by undoing everything that's happening to x. Remember, first, it's the, it's the opposite order of PEMDAS. So since normally you'd have to multiply and divide before you add and subtract, when we're undoing it, we need to undo the addition or subtraction first. So right now, 3 is being subtracted from 2x. I'm going to undo that by adding 3, which will cross out. And whatever I do to one side, I have to do the same thing to the other side. So 17 plus 3 is 20. Remember to rewrite whatever part is left of your equation in between steps. So now I have 2x equals 20. x is being multiplied by 2. To undo the multiplication, I'm going to divide. Those will cross out. I will do the same thing to this side, and I will get x equals 20 divided by 2, which is 10. I can always check my answer by putting it back in. 2 times 10 is 20. 20 minus 3 is 17. Good. It works. Let's look over here. So I have negative 4 minus, I know my subtraction sign looks awful, 3x equals 8. The order is switched, but remember I'm always going to undo the addition or subtraction first. So if negative 4 is, that means that 4 is being taken away from 3x, I'm going to undo the negative by adding 4. Whatever I do to one side, I need to do to the other side. So I have negative 3x left. Don't forget, subtraction signs are just like the negative signs. Negative 3x equals 12. Okay, now I need to undo the multiplication by dividing by negative 3 and dividing by negative 3. So x equals 4, and since there's only one negative sign, that is going to be a negative as well. x equals negative 4. Okay. In this one, same thing. I need to undo my addition or subtraction first. So 8 is being added. I'm going to undo that by subtracting 8. And then I'm going to subtract 8 from this side. 11 minus 8 is 3. So 3 equals x divided by 2. Right now, x is being divided by 2. So to undo that, I need to multiply by 2. I'm going to multiply by 2. I'm going to multiply by 2. 3 times 2 is 6, and all that I have left is x, so x equals 6. Now here I want to do an example with the distributive property because I know this confused a lot of us. To the distributive property is where we distribute whatever term is here to both parts inside the, um, the parentheses. And this allows us to simplify equations we otherwise could not simplify. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do 2 times x, which is 2x. And then I'm going to bring whatever sign is in the middle right down. And then I'm going to do 2 times the other term, which is 3. And 2 times 3 is 6 equals 12. Well, this equation looks like something I know how to solve. So I'm going to subtract 6 from both sides. I have 2x equals 6. And then I'm going to divide by 2 and divide by 2. x equals 3. Let's look at one more example with the distributive property when there's a negative involved. So I have negative 1 times x, which will be negative 1x. I'm still going to take my sign right there. And then I'm going to do negative 1 times positive 2, which is negative 2 equals 10. Remember what we did earlier with the adding and subtracting positive and negative numbers. This looks very confusing. If I do keep, change, opposite, this will become negative 1x. I'm going to change that to addition and change that to a positive 2. Now I have negative 1x plus 2 equals 10. First I will subtract the 3, or the 2, subtract the 2, and I'm going to have negative 1x equals 10 minus 2 is 8, 
And then the last thing that I want to do, because I want to get x completely by itself, and right now it's negative x. It's being multiplied by a negative 1. So I'm going to divide by negative 1. I'm running out of room here. And I'm going to divide 8 by negative 1. And I will get x equals 8 divided by negative 1 is negative 8. All right, we can plug that back in to check to make sure that we did it right. Negative eight minus two, I have two numbers with the same sign, they're both negative. So eight plus two is 10, they keep their sign. So this is going to be negative 10. Negative 10 times negative one is 10, it works out. I hope that that is helpful and you will be able to use it on your review.